Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a big news today. We are actually, I'm not going to say moving to France, but we are going there for a month. It's not a vacation, so I'm not calling it a vacation. Um, it's for my husband's work. He has an opportunity there for a month. So we're going to France on a sea for a month. And I am packing for a three month old. He's not even three months yet. Getting his like four months shots in two days to be up to date on the vaccines. And uh, honestly, I hope everything goes well. I will keep you guys posted. I spoke to the pediatrician and he said that I could give him uh, the vaccines a little bit earlier, like sooner, just to have a little more protection for his three months. So he'll be three months on Eve, which will be the day we're flying. So he's technically not even three months when he gets his four months vaccines, just for extra protection. They took the mask mandate down, so I am a little concerned, but hopefully everything goes well. Keep us in your prayers, and I will keep you guys posted. A lot of you guys were asking me on my stories when I posted that we were going to France for a month, as to like why we're going there for a month. So it's actually for Adol's work. He gets a month abroad, and he picked Honesty France because there's a surgeon here that he wanted to learn from. So we are here, he's working, and uh, yeah, so uh, Leanne and I are just here chilling. Honestly, like I don't think I could have done a month without him, so I, I just tagged along. It was a long journey, so I'll keep you guys posted on what I packed and um, how everything went. So let me take you guys through all of our travels and give you little tricks and tips along the way. We have the best packet secured right here, the most important one. There's his stroller bag, there's his stroller. And the trunk is so full. So yeah. If you're flying with a baby that's under two years old, they're called lap babies. You don't have to pay for their ticket since they sit on your lap. The domestic flights are free. International, you have to pay 80 to $100. We paid over $100 for his ticket. Depends on which airline you're flying with and where you're going. Keep in mind, you don't get any bag, bag allowances for them either. So your hand carry or your bag is their bag as well. First things first, we're going to check all of our bags in. We are not checking our stroller and car seat. So that's pro tip. You can take it up to the gate and that's for free they will check it in for free for you at the gate and, and it's your first flight it's your first flight this is my first flight sorry 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 not gonna bother this one a bit stressful not gonna lie so one thing you want to know about security is if you are carrying any formula or water, they are going to pat that down. So formula, if you're bringing, make sure you read the instructions online. You can bring anything for the baby with formula and water. So we had sanitized water with one bottle at five and a half ounces and they pat it down, they open everything, they check everything, but you can still bring it with an infant. Strollers, you have to fold them, and that's a bit stressful, so if you have an extra pair of hands, right here, did all the extra pair of hands work, and uh, I was with the baby. Here's the food. Sorry for you guys. That looks great. Yeah, thank you. Awesome, thanks. We packed, I packed six of these separately with all the ounces that it needs. Whatever ounces your baby drinks right now, we have the stream of water. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. And you just need uh, steady hands. <laughs> Pro tip, honestly, you can pack your boppy, but 
if you have a traveling neck pillow just bring that with you it's perfect for smaller babies so you can feed them comfortably on the airport and then use it for your neck as well yeah so we are boarding we are going to do a gate check for the stroller I planned his feeds accordingly so we can feed him while we were taking off but we were two hours delayed for this flight so then I ended up feeding him and just give him I gave him his pacifier while we were taking off so his ears doesn't pop and he doesn't get like a ear infection so you just want to make sure that when you take off and land he's sucking on something be it the nipple breastfeeding or whatever pacifier they use or their thumbs so they should be sucking on something i also packed eight outfits for him this is the first outfit change he threw up all over himself and on auto so he has change of outfits as well so pack yourself like pack as parents pack for yourself like two outfits at least um, and for your little ones, depending on how many times they change in a day, he usually changes like four outfits in a day, so I packed eight just in case. We were flying Delta and they're pretty good with their meals, so you can request if you have any dietary issues, I am, or dietary restrictions, I don't want to call it issues. Um, I only eat halal so I asked them for a halal meal and it was pretty funny that they wrote Muslim on my meal so it was um, kind of funny when I looked at that I was like oh Muslim are the people halal is the food so if Delta is watching this or <laughs> anyone wants to reach out to Delta to let them know maybe they can correct that um, a lot of people were asking me on my stories when I posted this on my Instagram that what they gave me in a halal meal I had a piece of naan, which is like the bread, naan bread, and then they had some dal makhani, some cashew rice, and some kind of chicken, and it was all halal, so they gave me that, and then I had some fruits on the side as well, so I think it was a pretty good meal considering I didn't really expect that. Pro tip, bassinet seed, ask for a bassinet seed if you have a little one traveling with you. We thought it was going to be really convenient because everyone told us to get a bassinet seat, so we did request one. Unfortunately, it, it did not work out for us. This was like a nine hour flight, like eight hours and 25 minutes direct flight to Paris from Atlanta. And there was a lot of turbulence, naturally. And every time there's the seatbelt sign goes on, you cannot have the baby in the bassinet. So I technically just wore him the whole time because it was really inconvenient to take him off every time the seatbelt sign came on. So if you are looking for a bassinet seat, you can put the stuff in there since you don't have any leg area to keep your bags in there. Um, I did put him in there for a little while. He did fit in there and he wasn't fussy at all. He was sleeping in there. It was just really inconvenient to take him off and on multiple times so just wear him or wear your baby that might be the easiest thing you do and then use the bassinet and i asked for hot water when i wanted to feed him from the back and i used this thermos to add hot water and then warm up the bottle milk if your baby drinks you know room temperature water great for you he is not used to that so we still warm up his bottles and then we took turns on wearing him so Otto wore him half of the time and I wore him um, half of the time so it's easier if you're traveling with someone for a long distance flight but if you're flying by yourself and it's only like an hour or two I think you'll be fine with it so I wore him for about like four-ish hours and Otto also wore him for half of the time honestly we weren't keeping tabs like whoever was tired we just gave like passed him around and he passed out the whole time kids are very flexible if you're worried about his hip or his legs having a lot of pressure it is adjustable so you can wear your seat belt underneath that and the flight attendants did not give us any trouble or or problems with it so honestly it was very convenient to wear him 
and everyone on the flight was so so helpful with the newborn so just a heads up on that This is the third outfit change. He threw up all over me this time. Oh well, I also had some outfits for myself, so I just changed the t-shirt that I was wearing. Paris and uh, trying to make our train. We landed two hours late. So we're trying to make our train to Lyon and then Lyon to Odyssey. We are taking the terminal train to go through the customs first so we have to go through customs then pick up our bags and then it's a five minute walk outside the airport it's within the airport premises so we don't really have to leave the airport fully um, but it's just like a five minute walk to the train station and so we're trying to make it to that <laughs> For your safety, you are kindly reminded to hold on to the handrail. As soon as we saw the customs line, we knew we were not going to make our train, obviously, because we landed two hours late. So definitely account for delays. We spaced it out for four hours, but two hour delay really screwed us. We missed our train by eight minutes. So that was really unfortunate. Going through customs was fairly easy and really fast. It was just a lot of people. Honestly, you just have to print out your documentations. So just print that out to make it easier. We did have to show our vaccination card, so we had that. I was carrying my passport and boarding pass. It was pretty much really fast for us. flight was delayed two hours from Atlanta so we are going to miss our train going to Lyon and then going to miss the train going from there to Odyssey so we're gonna have to figure it out but Rian's really happy Rian he's really happy right now he's a happy baby all those collecting our bags <laughs> Hey, stop that. Hey, stop that cute face. In the US, you have to pay for these trolleys. They're not free everywhere. I know O'Hare, you have to pay in Chicago, but here it was free, so definitely get one of these. It's really convenient. We are at Paris train station and our flight was delayed two hours. Oh my God, <laughs> and here he is. Ah, so he is. <laughs> oh, yes. Take him out of nowhere. So, yeah, two hours delayed. And now Adel is trying to figure out our next train. Um, I think there's one in an hour. So we just have to pay the difference of the flight that was... Um, we just have to pay the difference of the train because every time has like a little bit different pricing. I don't know why. Because it's going to the same location, so it doesn't really make any sense. But I guess demand and supply thing. So yeah, we're just going to pay the difference, get the next train, and go to Lyon, and then from Lyon to Annecy. So hopefully there's another train going from Lyon to Annecy. But yeah, this is the train station. Let me show you guys. So we paid almost 200 euros to get the same train ticket. Unfortunately, that was a lot that we had to pay for a difference. I guess if you buy the train or plane ticket the same day, it's really expensive. So I guess that's that. I did find a Starbucks just walking distance from here, the information center. 
so I could feed Rian and they gave me the hot water to warm up his bottles and I made another feed and fed him there. He still eats every three hours. He's not considered a newborn anymore since he is three months. Um, but yeah, he's still a little tiny and he's a really good baby, knock on wood. Um, so yeah, he, he honestly was not fussy at all. He was just really hungry and he was giving me cues. So I just fed him um, at the Starbucks and waited for our train, which was in an hour. So yeah, that gave us enough time to feed him, change his diaper, all of that. I forgot how tiny the elevators or lifts, they call it here, are in Europe compared to the US. The elevators are a lot bigger in the US, so account for time when you have to take an elevator with a baby or with a you know, elderly person if you're traveling with any. We were at the train station, but we were at the wrong stop or station. So then we had to walk to a different station. I did speak to another lady right behind me to ask her, you know, like instructions. And she spoke decent English and was able to tell us when we showed her our train ticket and stuff. So honestly, people were really helpful. We finally found the stop that we were supposed to be on. We were supposed to be on H. Um, and I think we were... On, a, on D so we didn't have to walk that much um, they're labeled on your ticket but there it's a little confusing because they also have numbers and those are sections or boxes in the train honestly we didn't even end up sitting at our right seat at our correct seats that we had booked for we just found whatever seats we could find and they were not super strict about that but what they were strict was wearing a mask on the train so you had to keep your mask on the whole time um, but honestly like train stations and trains in Europe are a lot better if you're traveling with a stroller know that you have to fold it in and just keep it on the side and take the car seat to your seat they have in their trains it's a whole thing there's the pad, you have the bags here to dispose the diaper, there's the trash, you can sit here, and you can wash your hands and dry them. It's a whole little room. <gasps> so cool. So cool, Leon. Yeah. My god, this is cool. We are lucky to you. Yes, we are lucky to you. Diaper changing is not usually fun and in the US we don't have changing rooms for babies in trains so obviously this was a huge surprise, a very pleasant surprise. So just so you guys know, it's very convenient to travel in the train with a baby. So we got to Paris around 8.20 a.m. and now it is 2.06, we arrived in Lyon. All right, en route to Annecy. Who's excited to get to Annecy? Yes, this one. Who's at Lyon? This one, yes. This is what the train station looks like from the inside at Lyon and if you are trying to use a public restroom, which they call toilets here, you're going to have to pay one euro. It is not free to use the restroom. So just keep that in mind. In the US, it is free to use public restrooms, but it's not in, the Euro in Europe. So just a heads up on that. Change of plans. So we were going to take a train to Annecy and now they have another stop. So we don't want to switch another train because we would lose our minds. So at 3.08, this bus will take us to the Odyssey. So we're going to take this bus. And Rian's super excited. Rian, are you excited about this? Yes? Wow. Yes! 
is Rian's excited. I was really surprised to find out that buses here don't have restrooms in them or toilets in them in the US. If you are going long distance in a bus, they do have toilets in them. So just a heads up, if you're traveling with the baby, you want to make sure you're feeding them and changing them. So I'm glad I did that at the train station here um, before getting on the bus. So if you have a small bladder, take care of business. Let me show you guys what the inside of the bus looks like. It was pretty comfortable the whole ride. We made it in the bus. He has Rayon this time, so I can sleep a little. But yeah, on our way to Odyssey. It takes about two hours to get from. Leon to Annecy by bus, so just keep that in mind. Honestly, the view the entire time was amazing. This ride, so enjoy your ride and have your camera ready. The only qualms I have with the bus system, the buses here, is that they don't have restrooms. With the baby, it was pretty inconvenient if I had to change him or anything like that. Luckily, he was not fussy at all and slept through the whole ride. Um, so we caught some rain since it is a mountain town uh, You want to make sure that you're packing accordingly when we got to honestly it was drizzling a little bit um, But majority of the rain had passed uh, by that time So just keep that in mind with the rain it was the ride was a little bit slower So we got to honestly I want to say about 5 10 5 15 ish This is Old Town Odyssey. This is our view from our balcony. Restaurants are right downstairs, mountain view. Yeah, it's freaking spectacular. Let me know if you guys want to see our place and comment below, and I will show you and give you guys a tour. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next vlog.